Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this complex number question. 23 minus i divided by 2 plus 3i equals to a plus bi. And now we are going to find the value of a and b, where a plus bi is a complex number, where i is called an imaginary number, or sometimes we call it iota and i is always equal to square root of negative 1 and if i take a square on both sides of this equation this square and square root undo each other then i square is always going to be equal to negative 1 please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's focus on the left hand side of this uh, equation and here I have copied it down and now we are going to rationalize this denominator part therefore let's talk about the complex conjugates of this uh, 2 plus 3i and before we go any further just keep in your mind that this uh, 2 is called real part and the part that has i with it is called imaginary part just keep in your mind so the conjugate of this number 2 plus 3i is going to be simply 2 minus 3i. So we are going to multiply and divide by its conjugate. So I'm going to multiply by 2 minus 3i and divide by 2 minus 3i as well. And now let's go ahead and multiply these complex numbers on the top. And likewise, I am going to multiply these complex numbers at the bottom as well. So let's go ahead and multiply the top numbers by using this double distribution. So that is going to give us 46 minus 69i minus 2i and then plus 3i square divided by now we are going to multiply these two factors let's recall this identity a plus b times a minus b we are going to apply on this denominator so the denominator could be written as 2 square minus 3i whole square and now let's focus on this denominator part and I have copied it down over here. And now let's simplify this thing. 2 square is same as 4 minus, this is going to give us 9i square. But we know that i square is always equal to negative 1. So wherever we see i square, I am going to replace it by negative 1. So therefore we can write this thing as 4 minus 9 times negative 1 so that is going to give us 13 so therefore I am going to replace this whole denominator part by 13 and now let's focus on this numerator and let's focus on this i square and we know that i square is always equal to negative 1 so therefore I am going to replace this one by negative 1 so the numerator could be written as 46 minus 69i minus 2i then plus 3 times negative 1 divided by I am going to replace this uh, denominator by this 13 so I'm going to just write down 13 and in this next step I just replace this uh, 3 times negative 1 is going to become negative 3 and the rest are same and now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. I'm going to write down 46 minus 3 and then negative 69i minus 2i. And now let's go ahead and break down these fractions. I can write this one 43 divided by 13 and then minus 71i divided by 13 and in this next step this part could be written as like this one so therefore this left hand side has turned out to be equal to this one so therefore we can equate them as you can see over here 
but we also know that this left hand side equals to a plus b i as you can see in this original question now let's go ahead and compare these two equations we know that the left hand sides are same so the right hand sides have got to be same and now we can see that this part corresponds to a and this part negative 71 divided by 13 corresponds to b so therefore this part is our a and this part is our b so thus our a value turns out to be 43 divided by 13 and b value is negative 71 divided by 13 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye